Well, good morning, Shelter family. It's Pastor Jay here with Jonathan. This is morning. your um, Tuesday morning, May 5th. I cannot believe how fast time is flying right it's now. Crazy. Um, and we just wanted to come at you for your six at six. I wanted to thank everybody that participated yesterday in our, our day of really separation with uh, a day of prayer and fasting for our leadership, for our families. Um, I just think it's so cool to hear testimony that happens from that already. You know, when when we really separate, we consecrate ourselves and separate something out just for the Lord like we did yesterday. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I have never seen God not really reward that step of faith. And um, who did you guys end up praying for in, in your family? I think the, the easy one for us was praying for the, the school system, obviously, with Christian sure. being a teacher. Yeah. Praying for the students, praying for the, the leadership, the principals, the, you know, the, su the superintendents, yeah. and also obviously for the teachers themselves. Totally. So that was, that was a big one. And just for the leadership in general, I think a big thing for us was praying that that truth be be you know would be exalted exactly. in all the decisions that are being made versus politics or you yeah. know it's any so other pressure agenda. packed. Totally, and there's there are politics involved in it. Totally. So I think that's it's a cool thing to ask the Lord about. I, so what we've been doing, John, as you know, um, throughout these last couple of weeks, and and everybody, we've been been challenging the ideas if your if your faith walk is alive. And uh, there are elements to every living organism that must be in. The first week, we, we really focused on the concept of movement. And I, I closed it off with the idea of rest. And, and yesterday, I just started in on, on a concept of, of growth and how if something is alive, it really is growing. And, um, and for something to grow, it must need to change. And I, I just touched a little bit on, on, on Nicodemus and how there was this idea of just applying another a way of life to his current way of life and Jesus really said no you need to be born again you need to have a complete overhaul and so growing means overhauling aspects of your life to really actually almost not force change but invite change in you and so I know today I wanted you to take on just the second day of growth and really give some thoughts through um, what you've been talking about and we've, we've been talking about about the environment and sure. stuff like that right sure yeah so i want to talk about the environment i think something that's a little bit of a little bit of a like not a caveat but an add-on to what you're saying about change is that you can change without having any growth mm. the things can change in your life and there'd be no growth in that in your life at all but you can't grow without having that change as well. I love you know, that. So you, you, oh, that's the truth. So you can have that change, and you can get out out of that change and be like, well, nothing's changed. Right. But like you know, nothing has nothing has improved in my life, even though I went through all this right. crap. You know. Right. Right. So um, I think the the big part of what I want to talk about today is is what environment are you actually in? You know, like a, like a tree or an animal or even us as human beings. A big part of the success of that organism that life is the growth of that organism. is is the actual environment that it's in okay you know biblically they talk about like a tree by streams of water versus you know if you put that tree out in the desert what would happen sure that, you know sure okay okay i see where so, you're going with so that. you know a big part of that though is that people talk about is that you know well i can't this is this is just the way my life is i can't control this i can't control sure. that when um the reality, I think the two things, and one of the, some of the stuff I pulled out was from John Maxwell, and we'll, I know we're going to talk about that, but one of the things yeah. he says really specifically is that you've got two aspects of your life. You've got the problems that you have and the facts of life that you have. And the, the facts that. of life are, are things that you can't control. Your DNA, how you were raised, who your parents are, who your siblings are. Who, you, who your boss is, even. Right. You know, those are the things that you're kind of entrenched yeah, you're, in there. Yeah, that's and, not changing. Yeah, I can't control what that person does. I can't control how I was treated when I was a child. I can't control sure. those things. I can't control how tall I am. Right. I can't control if I'm handsome or right. beautiful or anything like that. Um, those things are, are entrenched. And then you have your problems. And those things typically are things that you actually have control over. You have some influence on you can actually get involved in so if you're failing at work you have some you have some sure you, you can, can have some input into that right I get that and and if you're failing as a parent you have input into that you know there's there's Absolutely. aspects of your life that are like that you can as make well. a pivot so, exactly and then typically people end up applying one to the other well my parents were terrible to me so I'm terrible to my kids right. that kind of a deal and sure the the actual what what I want to talk about is that the environment is actually really mostly based on your attitude is actually your environment that and the, your growth. and that yeah and that's your um your choices because the actually the the facts of life and the problems you have 
can be approached in the exact same way. So that's why they can get confusing. Because sure. you can approach a fact of life. You've, you've, we've all known somebody who's had something terrible happen to them. Right. And it doesn't change them in a negative way. And we've had people that have had a, even not even a, a, an easier, quote unquote, easier problem in their life and it's ruined them. Right, it shuts them down. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what I'm talking about is how can we as people be the ones that are not changed for the negative but change for the positive grow sure. through all of our life situations through this covid situation through everything that we're going through so how do we grow within um the things that can be changed the the, the baseline of it is our attitude our ad it. yeah right. it's the attitude and then it's your choices so yeah. you know so the the thing is is the the, the baseline is just I'm gonna do the best that I can do. I'm gonna be the best that I can be. I'm gonna biblically follow the mandates of scripture. I'm going to those sorts of things. And then the next step for, for me is is then changing who influences you. Ooh, you know, it's a, it's a like big that. part of it. So yeah, the word's all about that. Scripture's all about all about the book that. of Proverbs is constantly about that, right? Because yeah, the reality is, is that by your choices, right? You, biblically, you reap what you sow, right. right? And then when it comes to when it comes to other people, the Bible, like you said, is very clear. One of the verses that we use that the men's the men's group uses is yeah. that iron sharpens iron, right? That's, That's a right. huge deal. So. The people that you surround yourself with mm -hmm. are the people that are going to change in the shape of who you are and what you look like and who you, how you act and all those different things, that. right? I love that. And that's so, your choice in reality. Yeah. Right, exactly. So one of the things that, 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 that um, I actually asked my dad the question, talking about this a little bit with him because he's all about growth, and he said that it's not about being with like-minded people. Yeah. It's about being with like value people. I love that. So that they're not necessarily, you're not surrounding yourself with people that think like you do because that's, there's no growth in that either. Not being challenged, not being spurned on, not being sure, sure, sure. growed. So, but th that like valued have the same values. So what are the things that are important to you? Sure. And what are the things that you're striving for? And are those people also, do they also value that same thing? Sure. So that really I have a, cool. I have a, I have a little list I want to read because I wrote it down, but yeah. um, you know, the, the environment, this is the things that for me is a huge checkpoint for me is are there other people in my environment that are ahead of me and where I want to go? Love it. Um, am I continually challenged? Mm. The focus is the focus forward, not backwards. I'm not thinking about my past. I'm thinking about my future. Um, am I being affirmed? Is my is the atmosphere affirming and connected to that? Um, am I afraid of failure? Is failure a horrible thing? Is failure an end all, or is it a growth thing? Is it something that gets you Indeed. encouraged with that? Um, and how often are you out of your comfort zone? Um, and then th that the growth is modeled and it's expected by the people around you. Those are the things for me that I look for. Am I being changed? Right. And, and that's like value. Yeah, like value. And so within that, I think what, what we see with this idea of growth is that there's an incubator when you choose people um, that are invested in your growth, right? Absolutely. And uh, I love that. I love that idea. I think it's powerful. And, and again, out of that Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17, you know, about iron, it makes us sharper. Yeah. I love it, man. Well, listen, guys, we are, are grateful. We hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Of course, we'll be talking yeah. more about Is It Living? Um, thanks for tuning in today. Always checking our app for different uh, little things that we've got going on. Of course, we may see you at the church as you bring one of your laptop computers in. We love you. Have an awesome day.